Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab, and in this video, we're going to talk about where stranding, stride landing counter rotation is and how to get it. We're answering a reader question that was asked and said, what flexibility work do you do with your trainees or your hitters to enhance counter rotation of the torso as the, the front foot lands open? And what this reader's talking about is what I teach my hitters is that at landing, we need to be make sure that we're open with our lower half and that we're showing our numbers with our upper half. So counter rotation just means that the shoulders are counter rotating what the pelvis is doing. And this is how we walk. Just think about how we walk. When we walk, our opposite arm comes forward with the opposite leg. We don't walk like this, okay? And the reason why opposite arm and leg come forward is because the shoulders are counter rotating the pelvis. So that's basically what we're trying to do by moving sideways. So that's what the reader's talking about. In this video, we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna give you some exercise or some flexibility and some strength training because it's not just about flexibility, but it's also about firing off muscles as well. We're gonna talk about rotation versus anti-rotation or acceleration versus braking systems. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you a, one of my favorite rotation stretches. We're gonna go over rotation strength. So one, one of the exercises is great for the obliques in the lower half. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a couple anti-rotation strengthening exercises. One is for anti-flexing and the other one is for anti-rotation. So we're gonna go over those, but first, before we get into the actual exercises, I wanna talk about, just briefly, rotation versus anti-rotation. So it's, this isn't like when we swing, we don't just keep turning and turning and turning and our lower back turns and everything explodes. We actually have anti-rotation forces as well. So acceleration, so we have acceleration when we're turning into the ball, but we also have Break, a braking system that slows down that rotation as we finish our swing. We don't continue to keep going. So we can't just train acceleration, acceleration, acceleration all the time. We need to train the braking system as well to be able to counteract the acceleration system. A good healthy moving body is gonna have pretty, pretty equal forces in both of those. So rotation versus anti-rotation. So that's what we're gonna go over in these next videos. We'll see you in the exercises. Here's one of my favorite anti-rotation stretch or just stretches for the torso. Uh, love it. So I've been going through gymnasticbodies.com, some of their courses, just their foundational course. Yeah, foundational course, fundamentals course, one of those two. I learned this. So basically what you do is you want the, the hitter, and you can do this next to a fence right here, okay, or in gymnastics they use a pole. They have a bunch of poles that you can grab onto. Um, you can do it in a doorway as well. I, I usually try and put my hand on the doorway side and then you do the stretch that way and you just kind of have to feel it out where you have to position yourself in order to feel the stretch. But the goal is is to keep the toes pointed straight ahead, the knees straight ahead, and as well as we can the, the pelvis straight ahead, although you're gonna see that that's not gonna happen. But normally what you wanna do, I'm a righty, so I tend to turn this way, and I did this for 17 plus years playing, playing ball, and I w didn't swing left-handed, so this one, I go left-handed, turn, that's when I'm the tightest. So I tend to do that, I do this every day, but I tend to do that more than I do the actual right-handed turn. But I'm gonna show you the, this, this turn, you can do both sides. I'm just gonna show you one just for the sake of time. So straight ahead and then what you're going to do is you're going to reach around and you might have to figure out how close or far away you need to be to the object but you're going to grab on and then you're just going to try and force the pelvis to be, get straight and you're going to try and pull the shoulders behind almost like an owl trying to trying to stretch back here with the upper half but then trying to turn there so you're twisting yourself like a bottle cap like you're trying to take off a bottle cap so you're going to hold this stretch for between 30 and 60 seconds and just kind of let yourself relax try and turn relax and then when you're done try and go real easy when you turn back around but that's a stretch probably should be done at least once a day if not two to three times a day throughout the day Let's go to the strengthening exercises. Okay, so this exercise is called windshield wipers, and I'm gonna show you a couple different versions. Well, the easier version, which is probably gonna be more for your kids. But basically what we wanna do is we wanna make a T with our body so our arms go straight out. We're gonna pick the knees up, and we want the knees just above the pelvis. We don't want them out too far out here, and we don't want them really in here, just above the pelvis. So from this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our, have our athlete, have our hitter, push their lower back into the ground, okay? This might even just be enough. Just if they aren't able to do that, 
then maybe just working on pushing their lower back into the ground. Okay, you should see they're probably, if they're not used to this, you'll see them shaking a little bit down below. So pushing the lower back into the ground, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift. I'm gonna go this way, because my, my battery pack is on that side. So we're gonna shift over, keeping the opposite shoulder down on the ground. And they're just gonna go as far as they can until that starts, if it starts to pick up, then that's too far. So they're gonna slide back, and they're gonna go the other direction. I'm just gonna show you this direction so I don't mess up my battery pack. So they're gonna go the other way, same thing, keeping the left shoulder down, and they're gonna come back again and go this way. Now to make this harder, if they're able to keep their lower back on the ground and keep pressure, then they can go legs straight, toes pointed. So legs are completely straight, and we can come down this way, same thing, keeping the right shoulder on the ground, going to the left with the legs, and then the opposite here. So going to the right, we're keeping the left shoulder on the ground. Those are windshield wipers. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple strengthening, more of the uh, flex anti-flexing exercise. This is called a side plank, and I'll show you two different versions, the easier versus the hard version. Uh, but here what we're trying to do is keep the body from flexing when it's not supposed to. And so what we wanna do here is have the elbow below the shoulder. We're going to push up onto the knees, so we're gonna go this way, okay? We want the shoulder blades to be pinched together on the backside so we have a nice line back there with the chest kinda of out, pushing the, pushing the hips up as high as we can on the knees. So this would be the easiest version of this. And we can have them hold it for 30, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, all the way up to a minute, and then they have to come down. To make this harder, we go straight with the legs, we push up, stack the shoulder blades on the back side don't have them get into this kind of position here we want them to be sideways completely sideways because we're working that side part of the anti-flexion of the spine so this is side plank we got the modified version versus the full version now i want to give you one more exercise this is more for anti-rotation so this is called a three-point plank now this one what we want to make sure we're doing is we're going to spread our feet out a little bit but it's very very crucial that we tuck the pelvis underneath or tuck the tail between our legs on this one we don't want to have an arched back okay so your younger hitters are going to have a harder time with this because they don't understand how they don't have control of their pelvis they aren't able to go into donald duck mode which i call kind of arching that back versus pink panther mode where you're tucking the tailbone underneath so what we want to do here is we want to and go a little wider with the feet. We're gonna push, push, the, push the body as high as we can, push the hands into the ground, push our body nice and high, make a, make a nice big rounded back here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck the tailbone underneath, butt cheeks tight, and we're just gonna raise a hand and bring it down. Raise a hand, bring it down. The problem here is, is when we raise and we start to lift up the pelvis. We wanna keep that pelvis flat. So tucking the tailbone, butt cheeks tight, Raising a hand, raising a hand. Now this, chances are this is gonna be, that one version is gonna be pretty tough for your hitter, your younger hitters. So what you can do is you can elevate their hands a little bit, say on a couch. You can have them on the couch, the arm of a couch, and have them do the same thing, feet spread out, tucking the tailbone, butt cheeks tight, and then just have them raise a hand, bring it down, raise a hand, bring it down, same thing. You can go 20 seconds, 30 seconds to a minute to more, however you wanna do it. But those are the anti-rotation, anti-flexing exercises. Make sure we're swinging smarter by moving better. And before I let you go. The Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know repeatable hitting power does not start in the hips? Have you heard the expressions, load and explode the hips, power comes from the hips? Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study that will show you how we added 48 feet of batted ball distance instantly, and it's not all about the hips. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.